Ending the show in Edmonton, I continued on to my next stops, which meant quite a bit of driving through the Alberta prairies. There's lots to look at if you keep your eyes open, though. Seemingly out of nowhere, you will stumble upon hills and lakes and trees that pop up out of the prairies. It's really beautiful. I love this landscape. I love all of our landscapes here and how they change and how they grow and evolve. But because our country is so vast, it means lots of gas fills up, filling up and lots of money spent on gas. Unfortunately, the cost of gas was quite high at this point, but luckily it was a little bit better in Alberta than some of the other places on my trip. Next, I got to Dinosaur Provincial Park for a pit stop to see the Badlands for the first time in over a decade. There is nothing like this landscape. thing is it has been a brutally long long day of driving and so much heat but look at these views this is spectacular so spectacular After playing one more show, I continued on to my destination in Wayne, Alberta, but not before topping up on some more gas. I felt like I spent so much time at gas stations on this trip. I feel like I always do when I'm on tour. It's such a shock to the system when you come back to normal life and you're filling up every two weeks versus every other day. But we made it to Wayne and in Wayne, I would be playing a Haunted Hotel, which is definitely a first for me. I have never played that before. Just getting ready for a show in this hundred year old hotel. This is my last show on the road before I stay with family for a week and a half, and I'm super stoked for that to just be in one place for an extended amount of time. It will be very nice, but I'm excited for this show and to get to stay here tonight will be super cool. And just explore the it's in the middle of the badland it's stunning so very excited for that excited to go for a walk around and yeah and then just have some nice rejuvenation for like halfway through tour and then keep on going When in Drumheller, one must stop at the world's largest dinosaur. Obviously, look at that car compared to that dinosaur. That's bigger than they even were in real life. Wow! It is so incredibly peaceful to be just reading and journaling by the river, which is more of a creek right now because it's dry, but still.
Hello, hawk friend. about the road is that it's always changing it's always evolving you are always evolving it can feel overwhelming to have a constantly new place that you're sleeping new food new faces but it's also quite beautiful i am grateful for this life and i am grateful for the places that i get to see follow along in the next vlog to continue the journey have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and stay tuned for more mm -hmm.